Today I'm going to be doing something really, really fun for the holidays, and these are my white chocolate peppermint pretzel rods. So let's get on with the ingredients. For today's recipe, I'm going very simple. I have some store-bought pretzel rods here, some nice white chocolate here, and some candy canes. Three simple ingredients. Let's get started. For my first step, I have my nice white chocolate here. I'm going to get it all into a bowl, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to gently microwave this on defrost. I just want to get it down nice and melted. I don't want to get it too hot. So I'm going to pop this in and I'll come back in about a minute or so. So here I am again. So I did this on defrost. Very, very important. Defrost. Never heat on your regular mode in the microwave. 40 seconds and then I did it for another 30 seconds. And look at this. You'll look at it and you'll think that it's not completely melted. You can still see the little ridges in the little bars, but look, when I start pushing it all, it just all comes together. And there are a couple of little pieces that haven't melted, but I'm not worried about that. I'll just mix it, and it'll all melt up. So that there is our first step. Then we're gonna get on to doing our candy canes. So, next step. For my next step, we're going to grab two little sandwich bags, put one in the other, just like that, and then take all of your candy canes and just pop those in the inner bag. Get that bag closed. And then what we're going to do, grab a rolling pin or a little hammer if you have one, and then we're just going to start tapping this gently. So we just want to break all of the candy canes into little pieces. So I'm going to continue doing this and then I'll come back when they're all done. So a couple minutes later, that looks pretty good. And the reason why I used two bags is if you use just one bag, you're going to notice that the candy cane starts coming through. And even at, with the two bags, I can still feel a little bit. So you might even want to use three bags. But there we have it. So now I'm just going to pour those into a little bowl and then I'll come back. Oh, that smells really good. It smells like Christmas. So just before we start on our final step where we're going to coat the pretzel rods with our white chocolate, I wanted to show you what I was doing here. I've just got an extra little bowl here and when I poured out all the little pieces I noticed that were, there were a few very very large ones like this and I don't really want those on the chocolate. So what you can do is just get a little spoon and just spoon through all the stuff that you crushed. And if you see any really, really big pieces, just remove them. So that looks pretty good. So we're going to get on to our next step. But I just wanted to show you this. You know, so it's not always perfect. I mean, if you're, if you're sitting there and spending a lot of time and breaking every single piece, well, then you don't have to do this step. But if you do see a few large pieces, just pull them out. Okay, on to our last step. For our last step, super, super easy. We're going to grab our white chocolate, I'm using a spoon here, and I'm just going to get this right on top of the pretzel rod. And just do a nice coating. Go thick or thin. And you can dip these if you wish, but then you run the risk of getting the pretzel perhaps a little bit of the outside shell of the pretzel, or the salt into your chocolate. That looks good. And I just want to coat it a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit more on. Okay. Then I'll just grab my candy canes and just do a little sprinkle right on there. And this is where the magic 
happens and everything starts looking really really nice and use your fingers because you do have more control than with a spoon look at that doesn't that look great wow let's do another one so I'll do one more like this but I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because I realize I'm a little bit far away by the way, that's a cutting board that you see underneath, and that's just a little bit of parchment paper. That way we can just easily lift this up. And these here are little stationary metal clips that I use for baking as well. So let me just zoom in and then we'll just finish this one off. So I've just zoomed in and I've also rotated my board just a little bit to give you a different angle. So again, we'll grab our white chocolate and just get that on there. And this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave a little bit exposed for a handle. So we'll go all the way down. We'll keep going. And I'd say right about there is good. Okay. I'm just going to mix up my candy canes and with my fingers again right on just sprinkle 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 and the freshly cracked candy cane smells really good look at that awesome I really really like that and now I'll show you one other different way that you can do this as well so what we want to do is find a glass that's going to be able to cover most of the length of our pretzel rod, which this one does. So that's pretty good. And now I'm going to fill this with our white chocolate. So I've got my white chocolate here. You just want to tilt this down and then grab your pretzel rod right into the chocolate. Give it a nice turn. I'm just going to tilt it a little bit more so I get a little bit more on the pretzel. That's good. And then just lift it and just let it drain off. You can give it a little shake if you wish. Shake, rattle and roll. Give it a little turn. That looks good. And then onto our parchment and then we are ready to coat. So different ways to do it. Whatever way you think you would like to try, try it that way. This here has a more rustic kind of look. This here looks a little bit more like it was bought at a store. So either way, we'll get that on there. And look at that. Oh, that looks amazing. Love it. So here's the one that we dipped into our glass. So it's fully covered the pretzel. And then these are the other ones that I did by hand, just by drizzling it on with our spoon. So one here and one here. I'll turn that around. You can kind of see the difference. So there we have it. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm still zoomed out quite a bit. I want you to see the detail on these. And just for the last part of our video, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more just to show you really, really close up. For the last part of my video, I've just zoomed in quite a bit. So here we have the pretzel rod and then our nice white chocolate with those little pieces of candy cane. And this smells really good. So that's really it for this video. This was a really fast one, really, really fun to do. You can see that either way is nice. So this one here was the dipped one and this is where we poured the chocolate on. Either way, a really, really fun way to do it. Maybe try both ways, get your kids involved. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my video if you did. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish, I really do appreciate that. That's it, and I'll see you next time.